Hello everyone, welcome to Bike Wale. I am Pratik and this is the brand new Hero Maverick 440. Now this bike is not only Hero's most powerful motorcycle but it is also the most expensive one. Now worldwide, Hero has been known to make 100cc, 125cc motorcycles for over two decades. But for the first time, the company has entered into the segment of 400, 450cc which is basically a high powerful and a high aspirational segment. Now, most of you guys know that uh, this motorcycle shares the platform with the Harley-Davidson X440. As a result of that, majority of the underpinnings are shared among both the motorcycles, the cycle parts basically. And that's a good thing because what happens is when there is one common platform and multiple motorcycles come out of it, the overall development cost comes down and brands have an opportunity to pass on the cost benefit to the Indian consumers. But the main question, is the Hero Maverick 440 just an extension of the Harley Davidson X440 or this bike has managed to create its own space and its own appeal? Well, we are at this beautiful run of Kutch and we have over two days to test this motorcycle and we will bring that answer to you at the end of this video. Now, Hero says that a lot of focus have gone into bringing out the ruggedness and the masculinity of the motorcycle. So in order to do that, a lot of uh, the design philosophy revolved around designing a bike that has majority of the mass up front. And to be honest, I think Hero has done a good job there. The Maverick manages to churn out a good design appeal. The fascia with its round LED headlamp and large turn indicators makes the bike look quite modern. But when you look at the bike from the dead front, the large tank shrouds gives out the macho look. From the side, with a large fuel tank, exposed chassis tubes and single seat, Hero Motokov has tried to create a unique styling. A lot of people may like it, but some of us would call it a commuterist design. The rear section of the motorcycle has decent mass too, thanks to the presence of a wider tyre, large grab handle and big turn indicators. The overall fit and finish are done well, just like the painting and the welding. No complaints there. The Maverick 440 is available in a total of 5 colors through 3 different variants. The one you see here is the top spec Phantom Black. The Indian consumers have a thing or two for motorcycles with a lot of features. So it looks like the Maverick 440 would satisfy most of them. Firstly, the bike is equipped with LED lights throughout. The headlamp which also has LED DRLs in them. The instrument cluster gets a negative display treatment but it is all digital. This unit supports Bluetooth and a smartphone app connectivity. Using this system, a rider can access turn-by-turn -turn navigation, check phone and messages notification, also check the battery status of the phone and few more features. The cluster itself shows a wide array of ride info like the distance to empty, gear shift indicator, real-time mileage, odometer and also the speed. The USB port comes standard on the Maverick 440 just like the dual channel ABS system. The suspension duties on the bike is taken care of by traditional telescopic spokes at the front and at the rear, it gets twin shocks with 7-step preload adjustability. As most of you guys know that the engine on the Hero Maverick 440 is exactly the same engine that is seen on the Harley Davidson X440. And uh, both the engine have the same characteristics and actually not same, let's say 95% because this engine churns out 2 Newton meters lesser than the one on the X440. So we are talking about 26 bhp of peak power and 36 Newton meters of peak torque. Now some of you might have this question, well the drop in 2 Newton meters, is it really affecting the overall performance? Well, honestly, no, because the Maverick is also uh, close to 4 kilos lighter than the X440. So when it comes to the overall power to weight ratio, this motorcycle performs on par uh, uh, with the X440, if not better. Now that I've shared the basic specs of the engine, I am going to admit something really important. This is the best engine Hero has ever made. 
and I say this because there are a lot of things this engine can do and it can do it well. Firstly, the refinement and the overall NVH levels of this motorcycle are really good. There's literally no vibes when you're riding this bike like the majority of the Indians will. Easy throttle, short shifts and consistent 70 to 80 km per hour speed. But try riding it hard, which I did, the minor vibes start kicking in post 100 km per hour and the same intensity stays till 120 km per hour. The best part here is the bus can only be felt on the handlebar. Things get better here, thanks to the light clutch which gets the slip and assist tech and I also like the gearbox, it offers slick shifts. The two aspects of this motorcycle that I really love is the low end torque and the tractability. Hero claims that 90% of the torque can be felt below 2000 rpm and it did feel that way. The flat torque curve allowed me to have easy overtakes and quicker straight line starts. The fueling is spot on, something that I have not seen with other Hero motorcycles. Now when we talk about the riding dynamics, the Mavic churns out a great experience. The combination of trellis chassis, 7-inch front wheel and a wide handlebar allowed me to have a confident ride. The bike is stable at high speed and far more predictable than I expected. I thoroughly enjoyed flicking the bike around. Now a lot of you guys think that you know a 440cc motorcycle, it's a big bike, it might be intimidating to you know use it on a daily basis like getting on the bike, getting off the bike. Well, uh, let me tell you this, with the Hero Maverick 440 that is not the case, it's extremely easy to live with the bike, let me show it to you. Now the ground clearance, the overall seat height is pretty reachable and as you can see it was very easy for me to reach on the, on, on the saddle. Uh, once on it, well the center set pegs the wide handlebar and the seat, the overall sitting triangle is on the comfortable side. This is like, I think it's perfect for city commuting and if you're doing long distance touring. Uh, what I really like about the sitting triangle is that it doesn't make me feel that, you know, I'm sitting on a 440cc motorcycle. It makes me feel that, you know, I'm on maybe a 250cc motorcycle. And I think that's a good thing because majority of the consumers who are, who are going to opt for these motorcycles are going to come from 125, 150 or maybe even 200cc uh, segment. So, Overall sitting triangle, overall view from the seat, the way the motorcycle feels from behind the handlebar, I think it's really, really good. And uh, I personally, one of the main aspects that I like about this bike is the overall seating comfort, the overall sitting triangle. There's one more thing, uh, which is obviously doesn't make sense because this motorcycle doesn't belong to that segment is the, I mean, I've taken this bike off road and really enjoyed it. And the reason I took it off road because, you know, I can easily stand and ride on this bike. Uh, obviously, this is just a very stupid thing I did with the motorcycle, but in case uh, uh, you are also someone who loves to explore the unexplored side of the country, uh, the Maverick can help you do that as well. The suspension setup on this Hero has been tuned quite well. The route didn't have a lot of bad roads, but there were patches that helped me gauge the right quality. The tuning has been done to give out a comfortable ride. It isn't too plush, but it is good enough to keep the fatigue at bay. A big plus point of this bike is a seating comfort. Firstly, it is super easy to get on the motorcycle. The seat height is fairly good. Once on the saddle, the seating triangle is spot on for commuting, touring and even for off-road riding. The upright commanding ergos is something that will make life easy in city traffic conditions. The overall weight distribution is also spot on. And now when you combine all these aspects, you get a motorcycle that can be taken off-road as well. Now it's time to give you a final verdict of the Hero Maverick 440. But before I do that, you need to know a few things. Firstly, I didn't get a chance to ride this bike in uh, city traffic conditions. I also didn't get a chance to ride this motorcycle in bad roads. And well, uh, being just a first ride, uh, we also didn't get a chance to test the fuel efficiency of the Hero Maverick 440. But we will get to an opportunity to test all of this when we get the bike in Bombay for multiple days. Now, the main question, should you be buying the Hero Maverick 440? Well, the answer is a big yes. And I'll tell you the reasons. The Hero Maverick 440 checks a lot of right boxes. The first box, which is also the main box, is that engine. 
Uh, I've ridden this motorcycle for almost 200 kilometers and I can tell you for sure, this is the best Hero engine I've ever ridden in my life. Um, the reason I'm saying this is because Hero has managed to, you know, get a lot of things right. Uh, the performance, the low and the mid-range torque, the overall NVH, the overall refinement, and this motorcycle performs really, really well in all those aspects. The second main aspect is the overall design language, the overall styling. Uh, I know design is subjective. A lot of people might not like certain design. A lot of people will. In my case, I really like the way this motorcycle looks. The overall design language is something which will cater to a wide range of buyers, not too specific. Um, uh, the, the best thing I like about this bike is, I mean, I know it's a 440cc motorcycle, so it doesn't really feel like a 440 because when you're on the motorcycle, uh, it doesn't feel intimidating and Hero tried their level best to build a motorcycle that will cater to a buyer who's coming from say a 150 or a 174 or a 200cc segment. The third thing I really like about this motorcycle is the overall seating comfort, the overall seating triangle because you know when you're on the motorcycle it feels so so damn easy to ride the bike. It doesn't feel that you're riding a 440cc motorcycle and a lot of credit also goes to where the weight has been distributed from all the way from the front to the uh, back. And the good job hero for taking a call of installing 17 inch wheel and not 18 because that wheel has allowed us to have so much fun in the corners. It's so, you know, I mean, I, I don't remember the last time I had so much fun riding a, such a big uh, commuter motorcycle. I mean, the, the reason I use the word commuter is because this motorcycle with all this aspect together will become a fantastic commuter uh, in the city. So for the final time, should you be buying the Hero Mavic 440? Well, the answer is a big yes, because if you're in the market for a motorcycle uh, that is easy to ride, easy to commute on, easy to tour on as well, but a 440cc motorcycle and you have a budget of about maximum 3 lakh rupees, then you should definitely consider the Maverick 440 because this motorcycle is extremely likable, it is easy to ride, it is easy to live with and it's a hero bike. Come on guys, so the sales and after sales, you know the kind of service reach this particular brand has. So yeah, I think I really enjoyed riding, riding this motorcycle today. Uh, stay tuned, we will bring you an in-depth review very, very soon when we get the bike back in Bombay. But if you have any questions about the motorcycle or any other motorcycle, let us know through the comments section and we will try to answer all of it as early as possible. Thank you so much for watching.